Well, hello. How's everybody doing today? So what would I do concerning health care? I'd say Dennis Kucinich has got it pretty much pegged for now, at least for a start. HR 676, single-payer, non-for-profit, take the greed out of the equation. That's one of the biggest things that's wrong with capitalism, especially capitalism concerned with medicine. There's a lot of profit and pain, and they take full advantage of it. That's one bad thing about having profit generated through health care. If the general population's taxes paid for health care, we would actually spend less because people would get greedy when it comes to the money they spent toward health care. More or less, in other words, you would go in the direction of finding cures instead of treatments. Right now, it's not beneficial to the medical industry to find a cure. That's shooting themselves in the foot. If you're a pharmaceutical company making profit off selling a prescription to somebody, why would you want to find a cure? It's in your best interest not to find a cure, but to find it, <coughs> to treat it. If you can get somebody on a life lifelong treatment, you 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 got steady income coming in from that way. That's why you need to get the profit totally out of the equation. Actually, I would take it even a step further than that. Why don't we educate our own medical profession? I mean, if Cuba can do it, you could think the United States could. And it's not like we, gotta, we don't have examples of doing just that. Frankfurt, Germany, United States Military Hospital, 97th General Hospital, for instance. It's not only a hospital, it's a college. College, so to speak, the people that join the military that are interested in the medical profession can literally go to school and learn, learn the medical profession right in the military. Why can't we use that same philosophy right here in the United States and impoverished areas, open up clinics? Or take hospitals that are about ready to shut down because they can't afford to compete with the big boys financially, so to speak, take them over, turn those into a training hospital, more or less the college hospital at the same time. Take the local people that are interested in the healthcare profession, put them through education with the requirement that they spend, say, four years in their local community in the healthcare, in the healthcare business. We need to start thinking beyond letting an insurance company handle the problems because insurance company are in it for profit. I don't see that. I don't see that as a solution to any type of medical problem in the future. And needless to say, a Republican is totally out of the equation when it comes to health care for this country. We'll never go in the direction with health care with Republicans standing in the way of it. So hopefully, not only will we get the presidency as far as the Democratic Party come 2008, hopefully we have enough votes through the House and Senate to where the roadblock called the Republican Party is no longer in the way. And then this country can go in further directions other than health care as well. But as far as health care, Dennis Kucinich is definitely the way to go. But like I said, I would actually incorporate that and take the total with the with the goal of taking the insurance company insurance companies all the way out of the equation educate and train our own people to be our own health providers not only would you have a smarter general population you would have a population that could take care of itself